Reuse of training results. To be able to use your training results in another project, you need to import the training batches into that project. A training batch is created for invoices issued by one particular vendor. Training batches are vendor specific. For this reason, when importing training batches into a new project, it is important to match the training batches with their respective vendors in the vendor's data set of the new project. Vendors are identified by the value of the vendor ID field. When these identifiers are the same in both projects, this can be the case when both projects are related to the same external system, enable the preserve vendor ID option in the import training batch dialog. This retains the vendor ID identifiers for all batches. Do not use the preserve vendor ID option if the project to which you are importing batches uses different vendor ID identifiers or if vendor ID identifiers depend on the business unit. We have a project here without any field extraction training batches. And if we click on fields training, there's an import training batches option and we can navigate out to the folder that we're looking for. And as discussed previously, here we can click on Preserve Vendor ID because both these projects are using the same external ERP system, so the vendor IDs are equivalent. And I'll select the project, and I'll select my, uh, my document definition. So you might notice that there's several document definitions, and this is something that you can do in a development or a production system. You can copy your, your document definition, European invoice, uh, and make changes to it and save old versions, and those can be deleted at a later time. So we'll go ahead and import, and you can see the import process has imported a couple of field extraction training batches. Training batches cannot be matched with their respective vendors based on vendor ID if the projects are associated with different external ERP systems. And that's because the different ERP systems are going to have different vendor lists and different vendor IDs. A vendor ID is different for different business units. Uh, to associate a training batch with its vendor, other unique vendor identifiers can be used, such as VAT ID and IBAN. A training batch stores the VAT ID and IBAN values of its vendor. When a training batch is imported to a new batch, the program automatically searches for a vendor with that same VAT ID or IBAN value. If it finds an entry in the vendor dataset where at least one of these values matches, that vendor will be assigned to the batch. After training batches have been imported, a training batch can be assigned to a document definition manually. To do this, Right-click on the training batch and click Change Document Definition. Note that you can also change the vendor of a training batch by clicking Change Vendor on the shortcut menu. As a result of this import process, the training batches will be brought into the new project together with the Flexi Layout variants, which alter and improve the result of capturing through this machine learning training. And if we open up a batch, we can see the images that were used for that training. And as you'd expect here, you can do some additional training by adding new invoice images uh, to these training batches. Note that if you attempt to import a training batch for a vendor where a training batch already exists in the new project, the program will select the best training batch. Here the documents in the training batch will be matched with both trained Flexi layout variants, the original and the new layout variant. The batch with the greater number of correctly detected fields will be selected for point forward utilization. And last, I'd like to point out a different method for importing and moving training batches from one project to another, and that's using a command line interface called FC Admin Tools. So here's the Abbey help entry. So just doing a quick search for FC admin tools will give you the proper syntax for migrating training batches.